Albania is a tiny country in the Balkans with a big personality. With stunning beaches, rock mountains, and vibrant cities, there's so much to discover in this hidden gem of Europe. The people are some of the warmest and friendliest you'll ever meet, and they love to show off their rich culture and history. From delicious food to traditional music and dance, Albania is a feast for the senses. And did we mention the stunning views? Whether you're exploring ancient ruins, soaking up the sun on a beautiful beach, or taking in the view from the mountaintop, Albania is a photographer's paradise. So pack your bags, grab your camera, and join us on this adventure to explore the best kept secret in Europe. Welcome everyone to Skodra. This is the north part <laughs> of Albania. And it's the first time for Luis. He's never been here, so we'll show you all the way. So this place is from Albania. This is gonna be like a hidden gem places, guys. Uh, I know Albania is not that famous worldwide for what it is, but let me tell you something. Not because I'm married to one Albanian. <laughs> guys, Albania is awesome. So we're gonna start with this city. I've never been here, like Monica mentioned before, called Skodra. Uh, this is the north of um, Albania, which is next to Montenegro. Uh, well, you can see the city. Guys, I haven't seen a country more proud of their flag like Albania. Although it's a very beautiful flag, it has my two favorite colors and an eagle inside. Albanians are very, very proud of their flag. Yes, we are. <laughs> Guys, we'll show you some very nice history about this place. Uh, it's, it's very, very rich uh, in history, this country. Skodra. Located in the northwest of Albania, is a city with a rich history and plenty of character. With its charming old town, stunning lake views, and bustling marketplaces, Skodra is a perfect blend of traditional and modern. The city is known for its rich cultural heritage, including its vibrant music scenes and a rich artistic traditions. Whether you're strolling through the old town, trying local delicacies at the traditional restaurant, or dancing the night away to live music, Skodra is sure to leave you with unforgettable memories. So this is dedicated to the persecution, sacrifices, and resistance of the people of Skoder during the communist dictatorship. Wow. So here's a fun fact that I didn't know. Uh, Mother Teresa was originally from Albania. Even though she was called Mother Teresa of Calcutta, she was originally from Albania. She was actually born in Skopje and she's an Albanian from Skopje, but she's Albanian. <laughs> so we're very proud of that. Now, this is something that I really, really like from Albania. Albania is a very liberal country. Uh, even though you see a mosque in front of there, yeah, right in front of the mosque, they have like a kind of vestia or whatever. So women here are free and they can dress the way they want, which is something really, really nice, guys. Something that I really like. So we're in the middle of a festival. A private school is uh, planning this. If you want to try whatever they cook. Uh, so they have all traditional food and it's like a, it's a private school in Albania and they're organizing all this for the people just to come and try out our traditional food. It's something that they do every day. Cookie from Scotland. 
how the schools they promote their school by coming cooking something and people can come and try for free. So I have to mention it's a professional school. It's um, like the high schools usually they they have like one profile. <laughs> Forgot to mention. Skodra is the city of bikes in Albania. So a lot of people, they ride bikes here, which is something very nice. Uh, I wish uh, more cities, <laughs> they do that. They say there is more bikes here than there is people. <laughs> it's another fun fact. Did you know that Dua Lipa is originally from Albania? And Albanians are proud of it. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> Uh, that was a patio they call uh, Luigi Curacuchi. Probably a nice guy because Luigi, Luis, yeah. So Luigi was a very important figure of the Albanian national awakening. He was a politician. I told you. Okay guys, so with this beautiful view, we are in Skoder. This is the Rosafa Castle. Uh, it's my first time here, I'm super excited. It's my first time here in years, so I'm super excited too. <laughs> Monica came here with, uh, with her school. Like, it was like an excursion when I was probably in fifth grade, I think. Yeah, that so. was like 45 <laughs> years ago. <laughs> The castle was uh, still with a king and the knights and apparently nah, like, <laughs> Yeah, so um, it looks really really nice. Look the Albanian flag right there. Love it. I really love it. Um, yeah, we're some proud Albanians. <laughs> <laughs> and well, you can see guys the view is amazing, amazing. So as we mentioned earlier and that side over there is uh, Pogdorica, Montenegro, which is the capital of Montenegro. Uh, we are in the in the limit with Montenegro. Almost in the borders. Yeah, so look, the sea over there is, well, the view is amazing, breathtaking. So looking forward to see the castle right now. Okay, so what you see behind of me is the Lake of Škodra. Look at this beautiful view. It lies on the borders of Albania and Montenegro. It's one of the oldest lakes in the Balkan. So it's also one of the biggest one in Balkan. Oldest and biggest one. View here is amazing, guys. Like, I could stay here all day long, I swear. Uh, yeah, it's so full of history. Love it. <laughs> yeah, this castle is massive. Like... I cannot imagine how big it was when it was uh, in a full service. So what amazes me from this castle, guys, is that it's a very rich history. Last night before Monica uh, brought me here, uh, she started telling me the story and actually I was like, <laughs> it's actually mind blowing. So um, I'll let Monica to tell you the story because she knows it better than me. Okay, so the legend of Rosafa, it starts with three brothers who were trying to build a castle. So they were trying and trying and they couldn't succeed to build a castle. And a wise man told them that they had to sacrifice one of their women in order for the castle to grow. So the three brothers, they made a pact with each other that they wouldn't tell their wives about this legend. And they, whoever of the wives, they would bring the food to them the next day, one of the women she was going to get walled in this castle. So the youngest brother, uh, the wife name was Rosafa, and the next day she was the one to bring food to them. Now before she was buried, she told the brothers, because she had a little baby, she said that I want you to leave one of my arms uh, and one of my eyes and one of my legs outside. So when the small baby cries, she would hold her and with the eyes she would look over him and with her legs she would put him to sleep. Uh, they had the creeps, the baby creeps. So the, the women, they used to do this. <laughs> Just like move the crib with their feet so the baby would fall asleep. And that's the legend of her Zafa. Interesting, huh? Now, something that Monica didn't mention 
is the other two brothers they cheated so they told their wife they told their wife so that's why their wives they didn't come uh, to deliver the food uh, and that's why Rosafa is the one who came so this is why the castle is called the Rosafa castle amazing huh? So if any of you guys plan on visiting Albania, Škodra is a must see. The castle of Škodra it costs only four dollars, and it's a definitely should come. It should be in your bucket list. <laughs> View is amazing, guys. Castle is massive and it's empty, so. You can appreciate this amazing view, come on. Yeah, you can enjoy making videos and photos. Nobody will, <laughs> will bump your photos. Funny, because right now they had a photo shoot for a wedding. And I saw the, well, we saw the, uh, the bride uh, dressing with her white dress. It was very nice, very nice photo shoot, actually. Very original idea. So we are leaving the castle, guys. Um, well, even though I've been in a lot of castles in my life, to me, I, I, I love the, the, the history behind uh, the Albanian castles, you know, because Albania is such a country with very old history and it really, really yeah. impressed me. So now we're going to eat, nom nom nom, Monica <laughs> is taking me to a very nice place. Uh, the, she wanted to take me from long time ago, so we're looking forward to it there. We'll show you how amazing the food is. Mmm, <laughs> nom nom nom. Okay guys, so we stopped at this restaurant right here. It looks very fancy. It's called Buitina Gillette. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm still practicing my Albanian. It's a very nice place. It looks like a castle. <laughs> yeah, actually something that I like uh, from Albania is that the restaurants are quite fancy and they're very cheap comparing with uh, other countries. I remember the first time when I came here, Monica took me to a very fancy restaurant on a 24th floor. I'm like, damn, man, I'm gonna pay my soul here. This is actually quite cheap. So yeah, Albanians, top notch when it comes to restaurants. Look at this decoration, guys. Oh, look at the doubles there. <laughs> so nice. Yeah, check this out. Yeah, so I just went in a suit because, like I said earlier, I feel a little bit sick. Uh, yeah, I forgot I came with Monica here. I ordered a salad and some potato chips and some fish and this is yeah, this is the vegetable soup. And also guys, we got some sausages with pork chops. It's very nice, I tried it. This is the cheese, salad. My soup is extremely delicious. Yeah, I'm eating like a king, guys. So freaking good, I swear.